Welcome to our live training session. Today's session is on localization tools. So there are many aspects to localization. The focus is going to be on specifically localizing the language in your game, the text in your game, from whatever language it was written in uh, to multiple languages so that you can release your game in other markets where they speak those languages. So this very often is going to be done uh, by a third party unless you yourself speak those languages. Uh, but what we're going to show you are some best practices for setting up your game in Unity uh, to make that process as fluid and painless as possible. So we have uh, a list of goals for this, section, for this session. The first is to learn to structure your project to prepare for localization from the beginning using best practices, including separating data and game files. So those of you who caught the quiz game two sessions that we did uh, about a month ago, and you can find those in the archives if you missed them, uh, will remember that we spoke in those sessions about separating your game files from your data or your game logic from your data. So in that case, we used JSON to store a database of questions or to store a set of questions in a, in a separate text file. And we're going to do a similar approach in this case where we're going to store all of the text that we need to localize in a JSON file outside of the build of our game. So using the streaming assets folder, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. And so the idea is that we're designing from the beginning uh, with localization in mind. And honestly, especially if you have a game where there is anything more than a very small amount of text, like if you have a game that features dialogue or you know lots of descriptions of items, this is probably going to make your life a lot easier to begin with by reading that text from a text file uh, and making it easy to edit and obviously to translate in the case of localization. So the approach that we're going to take is we are going to load all of our text from a JSON file into a data collection called a dictionary. Now for those of you who haven't worked with dictionaries before, they're very similar to an array or a list except we can use any type of object for the address or the index. So we'll be using what's called a key value pair structure in the dictionary and we're going to look at how to use that. Now, one of the interesting things about working with dictionaries and JSON is that we cannot actually directly serialize a unordered collection, which a dictionary is, uh, using Unity's serialization tools. So we are going to do a little shuffling where we're going to put the contents into an array and then fill them into the dictionary. We are also finally going to learn to write a simple editor script in which we're going to create, save, load, and edit our localized text data in an editor window in Unity. So a little bit kind of reaching up into the intermediate skill level there with some editor scripting, but it is really not super complicated. Um, and we're going to deal with that at the end. So we have a link for some assets for this session. You can download the assets needed to follow along from the link that you see on your screen, bit.ly Unity Localization. Uh, and that is the incomplete version of the project. So we're not going to ship a finished version of the project. It's up to you guys to finish it. I will uh, paste all of the finished scripts with some pretty extensive comments onto the archive page at unity3d.com slash learn for you guys to check that out. Uh, and that'll be up later on this week for those of you guys who are watching live. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, you can click the link at the bottom in the description of the video, and that'll take you to that page. So what you will see now on your screen is the complete 
version of the project. So we are not going to be building a full game today. We're really just going to be building this one system. Um, and so we just have here a loading screen where you're going to select a language. We have a choice between English and German. And then we have a menu screen where the text is going to change based on the language that you selected. So I'll just play our project so you can see that in action. And then I'll give you a little overview of how this is set up before we actually get into the training content. So I'm going to play my scene. And here, if I click on the English button, it's going to load the menu screen and we can see the title here, quiz game is in English and the start button is in English, right? If we return to our loading screen scene and click on Deutsch, we get Quizspiel and Spiel beginnen in German. So if you'll notice, down here in our project view, we only have one loading screen and one menu screen scene file, right? So we're actually using the same scene for the menu screen, which is the scene that's being localized, and we're changing the text on the fly based on data loaded from these two JSON text files. So if we open up the menu screen. We have a canvas here which contains our UI, our, our title, and our button. And if we select the title text game object, we'll see that there's this localized text script attached to it, obviously along with the text component that's actually, that's actually rendering the text. So in the localized text component, we have this key here, which is game underscore title. And so we're using this to look up in our localized text which string we're supposed to load. So we're sending this key into our dictionary, and then that is going to return the localized string that we want to display. So if we just quickly open the JSON file, we can see here this is we just have two, two uh, elements in our collection. Under key, we have game title, and then the value is quiz game. And then we have a second key for start button, and the value is start game. And we'll look at how that JSON file is created uh, via code in this session. And actually, I've shipped in the project file are these uh, localized text files already, just so you have some examples there. But you don't actually need to ever open or edit those by hand unless you want to. So. We also have the start button, which also has a text component and the localized text component that we will write added with the key there, start button, and that tells us what uh, text we need to load. We're making use of the streaming assets folder so that we, when we make our build, uh, these will remain as text files, so they'll be editable separate from the binary of the game, uh, which has some advantages, which we'll talk about. Um, and so then we're going to write the following scripts. We have uh, localization data, localization manager, localized text, a startup manager, which is going to load the data, and then the editor script for the localized text editor. So this is going to be a scripting heavy session. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So before I move on to the content, I'm just going to take a look at the chat, make sure everybody's doing okay, that we're off to a good start, uh, and then we'll begin. In the first session, we're going to start by writing the localization data class. So let's take a look at the chat, see how we're doing.